Well, good afternoon from the west of Mani, near Creef in Perthshire. It's the 24th of February, 23, and it's not long after noon. I was down at B&M. Yes, what a surprise again, Andrew. Well, I think to go down and try and, you know, salvage any bargains which are on display is always good because, um, well, the next time you go in, it's, uh, they've gone up 35% in price. So I kind of keep things in the, the larder. They're all things I'll use. I've mentioned this before. And another reason for going down uh, as early as lunchtime, you know, 12 o'clock-ish, any time after 12, half past 12, maybe 1 o'clock anyway, you're more likely to bang into low vibrational. So low vibrationals tend not to get up too early in the day. And therefore, the time to get themselves organised, it's... Uh, well, it's one or two o'clock, maybe even later. So um, you always find um, places um, with low vibrationals, particularly between the you know, five and six in the evening. Um, it's a very, very nice day. It's, it's a chilly wind, of course, but it's very nice. So it's definitely hill walking weather for me tomorrow. So I'll do what I've got to do at home today. Um, Kind of scattered in the brain still. I've been, uh, I've been suffering uh, scattered brain for quite a few days for some reason. I don't know what it is. Um, I suspect it's very much down to up and down fever. But um, that said and done, I think up and down has actually done me enormous favour in respect of being uh, so awkward uh, uh, last summer. I hadn't really hit, uh, but uh, certainly in looking back on the whole period of uh, what's actually transpired, it sort of backfired a wee bit on her because I wasn't really, you know, viewing any other options at all in my life. I, I was 100% uh, concentrated on the up and down returning and uh, had always uh, lived in hope that that would take place, which obviously it did uh, almost a year ago. Can you believe that? Well, certainly... This time next month we'll be talking that uh, sort of uh, language. But I think back to even this time last year myself, um, when I was on the snowy mountains, and uh, although I, I, I had thoughts of, well, that's, that's not a lie, particularly as the period between, you know, December 2020 and, um, and uh, obviously meeting up with her again, it was, uh, it was a period of a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of stresses because I thought, you know, I've, I've met her now, I can't find her again. But uh, then we did find each other and she just totally, I don't know what, what happened, but she just t totally discarded me and betrayed me and uh, caused all sorts of menaces and I just felt, well, I don't really want to be with somebody like that now. So in essence, she's done me a favour because I'm starting to look elsewhere and... Uh, I was thinking about that um, that girl about a couple of days back. Just again, sheer but sheer randomness, sheer being at the right place because um, at the right time. Because who knows? I might not have seen her either for a long time. But uh, I mean, although she, I mentioned in a recent upload, she wasn't particularly chatty. Because I think, uh, as I said, she was. Well, I think she felt. Um, Oh, I wish I'd met you, you know, when I was on one of my better days, sort of thing. Range Rover coming round uh, the bend, so I'm not uh, able to point camera on the road direction, but Range Rover's passed. Uh, you look vo low vibrational, that driver. You did, you looked very smirky. But uh, So I thought to myself, well, uh, look, I don't care if you're uh, not having a good day. I find you quite attractive. I, th I like your um, the pleasantness of when we first encountered. So, but um, then I'm thinking, well, if she's lost a job and she's got a new home and she's maybe under pressure for the mortgage or whatever it is, um, she's maybe not in a, the right frame of mind for entering into a relationship. That's maybe so. It's, it's maybe bad timing again. Seems the fucking way of my life, isn't it? Um, but that said and done, uh, 
I might make an approach to them with a seer and say, as I said, I'll do everything all right, anything I can do to help. I don't mean that in a sugar daddy sort of way, I just mean in a, uh, a, a sense of, um, are you all right, is there anything I can do for you? And she says, uh, well, not really, but that's obviously a, a signal that things aren't good when you say that. But um, I'll just let it play out as sort of thing. I'm not giving any major thoughts, but uh, so as I, as I pull further away from up and down, the closer I'm getting to other others now, I just know that. And it's a sad state of affairs because I was really, really fond of an up and down. I mean, you know, even even with some of our circumstances and difficulties which I witnessed uh, in the spring of last year. But uh, when someone does what they've done to you, um, it's not it's not a mistake. It's not like somebody's made an error of judgment or uh, just a. It's been a. It's, it's been prolonged. It's been a very sustained um, gaslighting and stonewalling and you know blatantly ghosting you and not taking any interest of on your emotions or feelings at any given time and it, it, it just uh, sickened me completely I just uh, felt I don't really want to be with somebody like that you want someone who is supportive um, who is interested in you I mean, she, didn't, she didn't mention anything about the the um, DVD the film and acting the writing the books, the, the magazines, nothing. You know, I, I just put that down to some sort of envy. It's a, it's a strange kind of thing to say about someone, but I, I mean, it can be only explanation is it must be envy. Because um, I can't think of any reason why you would not uh, want to, you know, give uh, compliments if somebody's put in a lot of hard work and effort in their life to achieve something. Why would you uh, not make a, a favourable comment? Or indeed, uh, a favourable criticism, because I'm quite open to criticism, I don't mind it. If somebody doesn't like my uh, writings or or my, um, you know, any of my creative uh, projects, then I'm, I'm happy with it to say, well, I don't like this or, or what not. But, uh, This road has been well walked by myself. I walked, uh, I used to walk the whole circuit um, from my village right over the top of the. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm not going back a long time. This is just a, a couple of years ago, and it was like, um, sometimes I do it twice a day and stuff. It was, I liked it, and uh, I liked coming, walking along here at dusk. It was just amazing. All the animals come out at dusk. But we are the, not so much the nocturnal ones, but you see a lot more wildlife early morning, late at night. You don't really see them during the day so much. I've had a very fantastic time. But, uh, this, uh, this field has just been recently ploughed. I will tell you, this is one of the, the um, estates which... Um, allowed me to keep the stubble in the field when I wrote to them and they wrote back and said yes, okay, because we understand that if you're um, sitting maybe on that dike or something and you're contemplating a, a written piece of work and uh, you're distracted with the black earth uh, because it's not uh, conducive to uh, your creative imagination and uh, you know, especially in December, Dave, when the the light is uh, it's quite lowly, and uh, maybe the sunset picking up the uh, the colours of the the stubble, you know. So I um, I was quite encouraged when they said, "Well, we would normally go to plough it, but we've uh, made a decision that uh, since you like to uh, write, we'll keep all the fields unploughed until uh, the springtime, early spring." And I'm happy with that because. Uh, Obviously, they've got to take advantage of the dry weather and get the ploughs in there. And uh, I'm not sure what they'll be planting this year. The um, crop rotation generally means they can't keep on putting grains in there. I know they force the grains with the the fertiliser which goes into the food chain, but uh, I um, I can't see them putting grain in there 
uh, for a fourth season in a row. If they do, I'm going to have to have a word and say just exactly what the, what you're doing. And um, I think he might come back and say, listen, uh, with enough of your, uh, your interference in our work, get lost. That's what you might say. But uh, I am very inquisitive. I'm very... I'm very observant. I'm very, I watch. Well, I don't watch. That's not correct. I, I see things. You know, I um, note things. That's the better way of putting it. But I don't. I don't come out here. And uh, for example, watch the. Uh, if, if you're looking for any um, any artifacts, this is a good time of year to get your feet mucky into fields. Not not central fields. Don't don't do that. But if you're um, Walking around field edges, you'll often find uh, porcelain or you know, old bottles, glassware, saucers. I, I found uh, multiple pieces of um, crockery. <coughs> Unfortunately, most of it's broken except for one bottle which is intact. I've, I'll show you it when I get home. Um, I've done some research, the, the bottle comes from the 1820s, it's very old, I found it not far from where I live, it was, um, it was completely stacked with mud, but uh, i done a really good job in cleaning it and it's uh, now a, a decorative ornament on top of my organ with the little dried flowers and I really like it. I'm not saying it's worth a fortune, but it will be worth some money if I contacted, you know, a, a specialist in glassware. I said, when earth did you find this? This is, a, this is the rarest uh, piece of glass in, for that uh, vintage era we've ever seen. Do you know it's worth half a million pounds? That doesn't matter to me. I'm keeping it. I like it on top of the organ in my house. Anyway, I'm not going to linger too long. I, I want to get back. There's so many things to do, and uh, I seem to spend an awful lot of time uh, with my brain thinking how much up and down deserted me. Needlessly. She's ruined a very good friendship, in my, my opinion. The relationship wasn't... It, well... At one time it was very important to me, but it's not, it's no longer, it's no longer in my vocabulary. I just, I couldn't uh, entertain that now. I just, but the friendship was always very special and I, I just find that she ruined everything. She probably knows that. She probably realizes her actions were indeed very unfair and uh, quite needless. And I think she must have some elements of regret that uh, just for, well, I don't even know, really. And uh, she's uttered some comments in that direction, but uh, that's really not the answers at all, is it? Not at all. But, uh, anyway, I've probably in the next few months, I won't be caring anything because I will be in the arms of somebody that does appreciate and love me and uh, shows gratitude for any kindness that I may do. I might, I might withdraw some of my kindness. I might actually say to that, uh, that girl I'm fond of, um, is there any, anything I can do for you? And she's really struggling with my mortgage and I'll say, well, you'll need to get that sorted out rather than me just say, well, I'll pay it for you. And that would just be fucking stupid, wouldn't it? Up and down would take that uh, that sort of uh, thing to advice that uh, look up and down, I'll pay the, the mortgage on the George Mansion for you, but she, she would say, oh yes, that's fine, thank you very much, and then she'd just get off with some other fella. But uh, I'm not interested anymore. Anyway, I'm not going to be negative, it's Friday, it's a lovely day. So we shoot back, and uh, we shall have some uh, lunch. I'm, I'm, I think you can uh, smoke salmon on the uh, smoke salmon on uh, some vintage, um, well, some vintage chutney I have there as well.
Uh, uh, maybe make a quick hollandaise sauce or something, you know, salad. And, uh, not a hollandaise sauce, you know, a vinaigrette or something. Yes, maybe some mustard or something, yeah. <laughs> I got some olives. Yes, smoked salmon and olives, and uh, salad and vinaigrette. Yes, that's what we do. Bring out the Darjeeling tea as well. Oh, actually, just before I do go, uh, Doctor GP yesterday said to me, uh, uh, "Do you get out and about much?" And I says, "Yes, I'm trying my best." Yes, because it's just very colourful. I said, can you see that through my mask? And he says, oh, yes. He says, you've, you've, um, very, very good complexion. And I says, well, thank you. A lot of people say that. I said, I said but, he says, you, you, um, you look very bronze. That's what he says. You look very, um, suntan. I says, no. I says, well, it's amazing what you can pick up just sitting on the doorstep. Oh yes, and just one other final thing, sorry, um, but um, yeah, the order of the uh, uploads of my current uh, situation means they're a little bit in disarray because of, it's easier to speak into the camera, but then if you do multiple speaks, then there's multiple loads that have got to be processed, edited and uploaded, but I will get there. So if you see any of these uploads uh, not making sense in any particular order, don't worry. And if some of the dates that are coming up, uh, well, that's last week or that's the day before last week. Well, don't worry. It all makes sense in the end. The weeks go in very quickly now, don't they?